I'm BJ TLM, and this is Share the Knowledge. Today's podcast is brought to you by Banzoogle. Then we have a technical question. I just went to my first DJ mix-off. Disaster struck when I touched play button and the music came on so loud I lost time and points. My question is, is there a way to know how loud I'm going to play? And the second question is, have you ever been in a situation at a club where another DJ had control of master volume? I think this had something to do with my levels being way off. I had to turn the master almost all the way down and still sounded distorted. I even turned my gains down. Finally, I hear 30 seconds and my spot is blown. Tough first time. Any suggestions? All right, I have a couple. Yes, you should be able to see how loud you're playing. Now, not exactly how loud it's going to sound in the room because you only control the sound that's coming out of your system. But normally, especially in a club, the sound from your mixer or controller, your DJ set, is going from there into the PA system, and that's controlled by an engineer. So you only control the first part, but it is up to you to make sure that you're sending a clean signal to the PA system. Now, if you're telling me that you had to turn your master all the way down and it still sounded distorted, that means that your channel volume was probably way too loud. If you have the gain on your channel open too far and it starts to clip, then you can't save that with the master anymore. If it's already being distorted at that level, the master volume can help you there. Either that's the, the case right there, so your gain was too loud, or there was actually a technical issue that made your sound come out wrong. But normally, if you look at your meters, your VU meters, you see the reds and greens. If it's in green, that means that you have, you have a clean signal. It's not clipping. So that shouldn't be too loud. You can check on your headphones. And on a lot of mixes, you can cue the master and hear how that sounds. So you can hear the sound that's playing through the speaker at that time. That's another channel, not your channel probably, but you can still see how that's looking on the meter and hear how that sounds. If that's coming from one channel, then your channel should be the same. Now, I don't know how the situation was. Maybe there were a couple of different sets. You had your set and there was another set, but normally you're the one in control of your master, or you have to have several sets on stage that are all connected to one mixer. But then again, you still have to have clean signal coming out of your mixer, going into that other mixer. Um, it starts with the gain on your channel, then it is the master, and you have to check your levels. That's where it begins. Now, what I normally do when I start to play, and I haven't heard the sound from my system yet, because I just come into a club and the night has already started, so I don't have time for an actual sound check. If you have time for a sound check, it's a different situation. But when I come in for a club show, there's another DJ playing. I go on next. The DJ is playing on the CDJ set. I have turntable set up, so I'm going to play, and I'm the first one playing on that set. I, if I check my sound, I'll just do a quick quick scratch, like a quick zigga zigga, just to hear. So I ask if my volume is on. I ask the engineer. Make sure you stay in contact with that engineer. You want to make sure that he checks or she checks your uh, monitor speakers, stuff like that. And then I just check to see if I have sound. And if I do a quick zigga zigga, and that's way too loud, then I'm warned right there. I know, okay, I have to look and see what I have to change. Or if I don't hear enough, but my levels are already in the right position, I have to ask the engineer, can you turn me up? Because the last thing you want to do is take your channel volume up too far because that's where that signal comes from. You want to keep that clean. You want to have your master right, but you want to have your channel right. And if it's not enough volume, you want that engineer to fix that. So there are ways to check. In your case, I can't judge. It could be a technical issue or you had your levels just way too high. Bazoogle makes it easy to build a stunning website for your music in minutes. You can choose from hundreds of mobile friendly themes and then customize your design and content in a few clicks with Bazoogle's easy visual editor. Now, all the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including tools to sell your music and merch commission free, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send newsletters, and integration to pull in content from all your online services, including Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. I use Bazoogle to create the Share the Knowledge podcast website and that was very easy. Banzoogle plans start at just $8.29 a month and include your own free custom domain name. Now, if you want to try it out for free for 30 days, click on the link in the description box down below and be sure to use the promo code SHARE to get 15% off the first year of your subscription.